All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to just John 3.16. I'm just going to read 16, 17 there. Uh, this may just be for uh, new, newly saved, but uh, the devil is a liar this morning. Amen. Amen. He is going to try to rent you into pieces, is what the Bible says. Uh, but John 3, 16 and 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent his Son not into the world, sent sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through the world, that the world through him might be saved. I can't remember right this morning. But the devil's going to fill your head with all kinds of nonsense. And like I said, this may just be for the newly saved, but he is going to lie to you today. And he's going to make you doubt your salvation, the Lord's love for you, the Lord's goodness. That's right. Your purpose in the Lord. Yep. He's gonna make you doubt all that today. Yep. And it's it's it, especially the young people in here. The Lord loves you yep. and he has a job for you yep. in the church. Yep. Don't let the, the devil lie to you this morning. Amen. The I'm I, I'm speaking from experience because I I've let him get in my head and it screws me up. Yep. Don't let him do that to you today. You know, he, uh, he, like I said, he's gotten me with that trash before. Don't let him do it. Right. But you need to be, you need to be able to identify what he's getting in through. Because when Amen. he was getting in to me, is because I left doors open to sin. And he was peeking his ugly little head through there saying, hey, you're not actually saved. The Lord is actually really mad at what you're doing right now. You know, you, you, you're not going to heaven. And he's going to tell you stuff like that. The Lord can't forgive you. Yeah. But all that, it, it's false today. Yeah, it's, all this is false guilt. If you are saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, you, you're good and you don't need to listen to him and what he's going to, all the trash he's going to spew out. But right. there's three things to remember that you that you need to remember that will keep you from all this. Number one, you're special to the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, he we all have a different abilities and different talents that help help us glorify the Lord. And his kingdom. And I know Brother Shane has talked about, I mean, if you're in the church and you're looking for a job, the trash needs to be changed, that's it's still something you're doing for the Lord. Amen. I mean, you don't want the, the house of the Lord to look like a junk fest, do you? Nope. I mean, you see it, change it. It is what it is. I don't like changing the trash either, but I mean, it's got to be done. Yep. But we all have different abilities and different talents that help us serve the Lord, that help us edify the saints. And uh, point number two, I'm going to go over to Ephesians chapter four. Um, or, sorry, still point number one. Uh, Ephesians chapter four, verse 11 and 12. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for edifying of the body of Christ. It's all to glorify his kingdom. Amen. It's all to glorify the Lord. Amen. Just the, 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 the smallest little minute thing may be small to you, but it's big to him. Because you're working to further his kingdom. Amen. Now point two. You are loved by God. Amen. You know, he... he when you look at John three sixteen, he he sent his son into the world. That <coughs> he would bear your sins on that cross. That you don't have to answer for it. You deserve it, but you don't got to answer for it today. Right. If you're saved by Jesus. If not, there's a whole other realm of 
possibilities that you're going to have to deal with. So just get right today if you're not. Um, but he sent his son to die on a cross that you don't have to answer for it. You don't have to answer for your past sins. But Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. It has nothing to do with what you've, you've done. You cannot save yourself. It is the gift of God. Point number three. You are forgiven. Amen. If you have Jesus in your heart and your life. Amen. As your Lord and Savior. Lord, Second Peter uh, 2... 2 Peter 3, 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All you got to do is ask the Lord to come into your heart and your life and save you from the sin that you just keep hanging on to. Can I tell you today that you need to just leave it at the altar and leave it alone? Yeah. And I can speak from this because I was one of those people who would have that sort of emotional experience and would come to the altar and I, I'd, I'd cry my heart out, but I always ended up picking it back up. I always, it was always like that piece of toilet paper that always stuck to your shoe that you just kept going back to, going back with. I mean, that's, that's what sin is. Toilet paper sticking to your shoe. I mean, it is what it is. But leave it at the altar. Amen. Leave it. With Jesus. Yep. He will save you today if you're not saved. He will come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. <coughs> but the devil is going to try to fill your head with all of his junk. Don't let him do it. You're special to him. He loves you. And if you're saved by the grace of God, you're forgiven. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about the sin in the past. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you sin after you're saved, you get some answers to do. So, but that's kind of my, my thought this morning. Is there a little, let's just mess up. Amen. Amen.